Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to Recipe for Disaster. Now we have played this before, we played this way back in June of last year, but when we played it last it was the demo version, so now we're back again with the very fancy early access version, because there is a bit more going on with the game now. It's been developed over all that time, and new features have been added and what have you, so yes, I thought we should pop back in to see what's going on with it now it's been updated a bit. If you didn't see this last time, this is a restaurant simulator. So we have our restaurant and we manage pretty much everything really. So the layout and the decoration, very important, the decoration. Lots and lots of lovely decoratives. And we manage the stock and the staff and the menu. We can make our own recipes, which is all very good indeed. All that sort of restaurant managing kind of stuff that you would expect from a restaurant simulator game. So I think let's just get on with it, shall we? Without any further ado, let's jump in and start managing our restaurant. Actually, do you know what? I take that back. We do need to have a small amount of ado first, because of course we need to set up our character. We have a character in the game and we need to set them up in terms of their appearance, their skills and their traits. And this is who we've been given by default. So this is Edward Patterson. I mean, Edward, you have a wonderful hair and beard combo. That is very, very impressive indeed. Also, I like what you're doing with your outfit. It's, you know, it's a bold fashion statement, working in a kitchen with that kind of appearance going on. It's wonderful. I like it very much. I mean, you know, if that was a little bit sort of pinker, if it was a slightly sort of hotter pink, I would be absolutely all for that. But no, I've got an idea of who we'd like to actually have working in our kitchen. So here we go. Edward, farewell for now. We're going to change you into somebody else. So say hello, everybody to the one, the only Betty Cupboard. Of course it was going to be Betty. It was always going to be you, Betty. So yeah, Betty Cupboard has appeared across various different Geek Cupboard series in all sorts of different roles and guises and with different appearances and all that kind of stuff. And I thought, do you know what? Let's bring her back to run a restaurant because that seems like a very sort of Betty thing to do. And I do think she looks marvellous. She looks very, very good indeed. All kitted out in fabulous Geek Cupboard corporate attire. I mean, she's wearing a fedora inside. Look at that. She's going to wear a fedora inside a restaurant. She's got a lovely French jacket on with fabulous kind of geek covered corporate buttons. She's got some classic straight leg trousers on. Nothing fancy, just, you know, functional and to the point. She's got some lovely yellow boots on and she's not wearing an apron because I think that Betty is going to be more sort of front of house. She's not going to be at the back in the kitchen doing all the kind of dirty, messy stuff of having to, you know, get splashed with fat from the deep fat fryer and all that kind of stuff because that would ruin her immaculate appearance. She's going to be out the front charming people and being impressive and being quick, running around the place, getting orders and delivering food on time and just generally being amazing. Kind of, you know, it's a sort of, you know, a sort of a figurehead, if you like, of the restaurant. People are going to come to the restaurant to see Betty Cupboard. And I mean, she looks like this. Why wouldn't you go to the restaurant and see Betty like this? She looks amazing. Okay, so now we need to pick Betty's skills and it looks like we need to pick one level three skill, two level two skills, everything else will remain at level one and we need to pick a skill that she really, really loves and a skill that she absolutely hates. Okay, I mean, this should be relatively simple because we're not going to give her any of the cooking things at all. Betty has no care in the world for frying or grilling or ovening or stoving or countertopping. She does not care about any of that at all. She's all about the front of house stuff. Now, I think her level three skill should be charisma. She can wow the people. She can be amazing and charismatic and people can flock to our restaurant just to be served by the wonderful, the charismatic, the fantastic Betty. So I think, yeah, we'll give her three in sort of charisma and then let's give her two in cleaning and two in serving. There we go. So she's very, very good at the front of house stuff. And in terms of the skill she loves, yeah, she can love being charismatic. Now, what can she hate? I would say probably the fryer because that's got to be the kind of messiest of all of these kitchen things, because that's going to be all sort of spitting fat and all that kind of stuff. It's going to make a lot of mess. And if she does have to use the fryer and it spits fat on her wonderful kind of immaculate clothing, that's going to annoy her. So no, we're going to go down the fact that she hates doing frying. Okay, so there we go. So she's very, very charismatic. She loves chatting to people. She's pretty good at serving and she is very good at cleaning. Kitchen stuff, nah, not so bothered. Betty leaves that to other people. Okay, now we move on to traits and we have two of these that we can pick. However, I don't think if you pick annoying, which is obviously a negative trait, I don't think we get a kind of an extra point back. I still think that counts as one of the traits we pick. Yeah, so let's not pick annoying because that would be silly. I mean, I'm thinking inspiring an inspiration for others, resulting in a reduction of stress for nearby employees. Because, you know, it's Betty and she looks like this and she's wearing that hat. So I think inspiring is very, very good. And I think maybe empathic as well. We'll cheer people up nearby. I think that sounds very good. What else could we have? I mean, party monster. 
that could be Betty, tends to arrive late and leave early. Yeah, I'm not so bothered about that. Workaholic, um, okay, their stamina cap is a bit lower. Stamina cap slightly lower, but they work a bit quicker. No, let's go for let's go for empathic. We'll cheer people up nearby. That's kind of what we're going for with this particular version of Betty. This version, this incarnation, if you like, is going to be very, very good at cheering people up and inspiring people as well. So there we go. I think we're ready. I think that is sorted. Betty is ready to go. Now, in terms of our game setup, we are going to play on the free play mode. We're going to have a little bit of a sandbox kind of game going on. Now, there is a campaign and we could go and do the campaign, but I like the idea of building our own restaurant and then kind of sticking with it. In the campaign, I assume what happens is you go away to a restaurant and then you meet a certain set of goals. And then when they're done, the game goes, hooray, well done. And you go to a different restaurant and meet a different set of goals and all that kind of stuff. And whilst that is, you know, it's wonderful and it's kind of like a sort of career story type thing i'd like betty to have her own restaurant and yeah we can build it up how we like and we can make all sorts of mistakes but they'll be our mistakes and we can stick with our own mistakes and have to deal with them so we're going to play in sandbox mode i think because that gives us a little bit more freedom and we can come back and try and you know make things a bit better around our restaurant and just see how we can kind of you know how we can get on with making our own place Okay, so in terms of difficulty, let's go down the medium kind of preset, but we are gonna change a few things. So change number one, we're going to give ourselves a little bit more money because of course we are. So by default, we start with 10 grand, I think we up that to the next level up, which is 25 grand, just so we're not waiting around for money to come in. You know, we can actually get stuff underway. We can put some lovely decoratives down. We can, you know, sort of enjoy the game a little bit more without having to kind of, you know, scrimp and save and wait for money to come in. So give ourselves a little bit more money. Now, there are some losing conditions. We're going to take this one off. So an employee is fired or quits. If that happens, that means we're going to lose the game. So let's take that off. The only reason we're going to lose the game is if we have a negative balance at the end of the day, which seems fine. I mean, we're starting with 25 grand. So hopefully, hopefully that's not going to happen. Although, yeah, I would not sort of rule it out entirely. And there is something down here. Where is it? Theme. There we go. So theme is currently set to seafood. So the theme of your restaurant affects the food preferences of your customers. So we can have no theme at all. We can have a seafood restaurant, a steakhouse, a fast food place, a homely food place, which sounds very nice, a vegetarian restaurant, or no theme at all. I think we go for homely food. That sounds lovely and comforting and friendly and warm, doesn't it? So there we go. That's all we're going to do. So a few changes, a bit more money. We're not going to lose the game because an employee is fired or quits. And we are now serving lovely homely food as our sort of signature dish, which I think is very good. Okay, there we go. Right, now we can actually dive in. And here we go. So welcome to our restaurant, everybody, which I think we should call Cupboard Comforts. I think that sounds very nice indeed. If we're going to be known for making homely food, if that's going to be our restaurant theme, I think Cupboard Comforts fits the bill very nicely. So there we go. Welcome to Cupboard Comforts, everybody. Now, right now, there's not much going on. Cupboard Comforts is very, very small indeed. We've got one kind of main restaurant dining area just here, and then one very, very small kitchen. And then I think, yeah, around the side, we've got a little kind of break area. There's a bench. We've got some shrubbery, which is very nice, and a little queue sign. And then around the back, what have we got? Just some more lovely varied bits of plant. Okay, right, wonderful. Now, what I think we need to do is first, I think we need to expand a little bit because that's not going to make us very much money, is it? It's going to be very lovely. It's going to be very, very kind of a lovely personal kind of dining experience, but I don't really think it's big enough. So I think what we do is what else do we have going on? We have got quite a big area to build in. We do only have 25 grand, however, so I do need to kind of, you know, rein it in a bit. We haven't got infinite money. I can't build a massive, gigantic restaurant. Let's just maybe make something a little bit bigger than this. We have got a kind of nice paved area over there. I mean, is it worth rebuilding something? How much is like a wall? How much is it to build a wall? What if I were to just build a wall just there? It's five pounds. Oh, it's in pounds. That's nice. Um, Five pounds to build one little wall section. I think... That might be worth doing. Can we sort of rebuild over here possibly and then get rid of this over here? Because I don't really want all this kind of stuff over here. I'd like it over here near the lovely kind of shrubbery sort of area. And then, yeah, we need some benches as well. I think over there seems like our best kind of bet. Unless we have to be down here because it's on a crossroads. No, but over there there's a crossroads. In fact, there are crossroads on all of these corners. We're on some sort of block type structure thing. Um, Yeah, I think, I think we'll sort of set up over here. So we'll spend some of our money on just building a new kind of structure and then we'll move things over from here. So, you know, we'll take the door and we'll take the order window and the other door and we'll move stuff over here, I think. 
I think that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get a wall. Oh, look at this. We get to pick the walls. Oh, hang on. We get to paint them afterwards anyway. Okay, right, that's fine. Right now, let's just go for a kind of relatively kind of plain looking thing. So how about we have a bit coming across like that and then a bit coming forward like, oh, that bit wasn't supposed to be there. That bit sticking out wasn't supposed to be there. Hang on. Can we demolish a wall? Um, yeah, demolish. Okay, right. Make that. And not that entire bit of wall, just that one little bit of wall. <laughs> um, I want that bit, just that one single bit. Hang on a minute. Oh, I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> I just wanted one bit to go away. Okay, never mind. Right. We've got to be very careful when we do this, then it seems. Um, okay, so what I want is a little kind of path up to the front. I'd like a little path outside up to the front of the restaurant. So how about we have a wall like that, and then it can go back a bit. We can have a little kind of entry area like that. We can put lots of decor in there and it can look marvellous. And that can come back out like that. So it's that four out that way. So one, two, three, four, like that. And then bring that down to say here, how are we looking for money? Oh, we've got loads of money left. This is going to be absolutely fine, he says. <laughs> here we go. So bring that down to say there. I think maybe let's make that a little bit bigger. And then we are going to need a space for some uh, for some restrooms. We're going to need a, a little kind of toilet space. So people are, you know, caught short in the restaurant. And then, of course, we need the kitchen as well. So I think let's bring that back to there. And bring that back to... No, not there. No, not just there. Hang on. <laughs> Can we delete that on its own, please? There we go. Wonderful. Oh, dear. That was almost a disaster. Right. So that across to there. Bring that down like that. Fill that in. Okay. So there we go. Part of the restaurant is not accessible. Yeah, okay, we're on it. We're on it, game. Calm down. Okay, so that's our main kind of body of restaurant. And then we need the kitchen at the back. So I think if we make the kitchen sort of come out like this, so four like that, bring that across like that, that should be plenty of room for the kitchen right now. I mean, we can always make it a bit bigger if we need to. And then I think the loos, we don't want to put them over there because there's a nice kind of a nice area over there with lovely sort of floor tiles and plants and such. So I think... Let's put the loo over here somewhere. So we'll just set that up for now. Um, oh, what if we delete that? Does it delete the entire... It deletes the entire structure. Why can't we delete individual wall sections, game? Um, okay, no, this is fine. So, yeah, I think maybe we'll come to the loos in a bit. We'll come to those in a bit. So can we now move this door? Do we right-click? Yeah, so move that door. Put that there. So hooray, that's accessible. And then we want people to queue kind of over here if we can. That would be wonderful. They're going to queue along there okay do you know what no let's put you here they're going to queue along that line i think so we'll make that look nice we'll put some lovely things along here um and then yeah the order window that needs to move over to that corner i would say and then we need a door frame so we can get into the actual kitchen let's put that next to the order window and then a back kitchen door which I just sold instead of moving. Hang on, back kitchen door. <laughs> it's a good job we gave ourselves some extra money. Um, okay, that can go just there. There we go. And then, of course, we are going to need this bench because that is where the employees go and have a little sit down. So let's pop that, um, rotate it round, put that right by the back door for now. There we go. Right, so basics kind of are in. And then, hang on paint the floor. This is very good. Oh, we need to spend money on this. Oh, crikey. Okay, right, so the kitchen floor... I think can be, we've not got any kind of geek cupboard corporate looking colour. So I think let's have, I mean, that's got blue in it, look. There we go. So blue and white, like a checkered floor, classic kind of kitchen floor. And then the main room, we don't want it looking the same. We don't want it looking the same. So we can't have any of these check kind of patterns. Um, what do we go for? It'd be nice if we get a preview, wouldn't it? A preview would be very good indeed. I can't quite see what these are going to look like. Um... Do you know what? Let's go for something. I'd look quite like something a bit bright. How about that? Pop that into there. There we go. That looks nice. Right. And now paint the walls. Here we go. Right. So is this the outside or is this the inside? Is this the outside or the inside? I'm not entirely sure whether it's going to do both. Um, oh, hang on. We can do a color. Oh, hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Can we do that with the floors? Could we do that with the floors? No, we can't. But with the walls, we can. Okay, I think we know where we're going to go with this, everybody. Right, so, um, Geek Cupboard Corporate Blue Brick? Okay, hang on, hang on. No, I just want solid. Just solid colour. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And then, over in the, um, over in the kitchen, we'll have 
the yellow. Yes, <laughs> perfect. And then the outside, um, I think we probably do need a kind of pattern to this, but let's make it blue. We'll make it like that look. So can that be the outside? I mean, is that, how does that work exactly? Do we just roll it over the outside? No, that's the inside. I want to do the outside of the walls game. Please, please let me, because now th that's okay, actually. I don't so much mind the brick on the inside. But yeah, I don't know how to do the outside. Um, uh, paint wall section, paint room is alt click. Paint wall sections is shift click. Yeah, I want to do the outside. I don't know how to do the outside. The outside of that one's done. Uh, okay, that's not immediately obvious. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The inside will have to do for now, and it looks okay. If not perfect, it looks okay. Right, now we can get rid of this. We can sell that, and we can sell that, and then we can sell all those bits on the... Can we sell those bits on the floor? I don't know if we can sell those. <laughs> I don't know if they can go away. The demolish thing doesn't click on those. Never mind, it's fine. It can be a feature. It can be a lovely feature. Okay, right. Now I think we need to get some actual things in, some furnishings. So here we go. Let's get in... I mean, if we got... Do we need windows? Yeah, here we go. Windows, because at the moment there's no windows at all. So how about tall wide windows one there and one there which is nice we can see out and it looks very nice we'll have one there and one there so they're overlooking these kind of nice little planty bits and then how about a wide window right in the middle oh that is very good yeah okay this is looking wonderful we'll have one there and one there okay so nice and bright and then in the kitchen as well we'll put one window across that end and one window there and then we'll have one in the middle just put one. In fact, let's put one by the bench, shall we? Put one by the bench. Okay, there we go. So windows, light coming in. Lovely, lovely. Right, now we need some sort of, you know, places for people to sit. That might be quite helpful. We also do need some staff, actually. Hang on. Can we have a look at the staff? Who do we have? So Betty Cupboard is here. That's very good. Do we have... Hang on. Current staff. Oh, we've got staff. It's given us staff. We've got Joshua Garza, Nathan Patterson, Jacob Gibson, and Amber Graham. Oh, okay. This is wonderful. Okay, right. That That's very good news. I thought we had no staff at all. Um, Right. Okay. Then let's come out of that then, and then we can just get on with doing this. Right, okay. So, tables and chairs then. Tables and chairs. Fancy wooden tables. I like the idea of fancy tables. So, here we go. Um, So, let's put a fancy table kind of... um doesn't really fit directly in front of those windows, which is unfortunate. Never mind. Uh, we'll put one... Oh, that's right by the serving hatch. We'll put one there, and one there, and one there. Okay, maybe we'll just start with... I don't know, maybe we'll start with those three. In fact, no, what we'll do is we'll mimic that across the other side. So if we put that... Yeah, so that's just right in that corner. So right there, and right there, and right there. And then we'll have a mixture. A mixture of sort of seating numbers. So how about... Can we get, yeah, fancy chairs, fancy wooden chairs, fancy crossback chairs. Okay, they sound very nice. Uh, we can't change the colours of these, unfortunately, but there we go. So we'll have four people seated at that, and then we'll have two at that one, and then four people seated at that, and then four people in this one in the middle, and then two with that one, and two with that one. So plenty of seats, plenty of seats going on, and we've got loads of room in the middle. So there we go. Right, now decoratives lovely lovely decoratives we need to put something along here as well hang on landscaping um okay can we have some of these things right so bushes and medium plants plant grouping um okay let's just put some of these in like this look we'll, we'll alternate those because they look pretty and then we'll have different things across it wall vines oh wall vines yay we can have vines across the front there we go <laughs> Looks like we need a gardening service. Um, okay, that's nice. Oh, wide wall vines. Oh, it can't quite go over the window, unfortunately. That's, yeah, that's, oh, hang on, we can put that just there. We can't because we've got other vines in the way. Never mind, enough of you vines. Um, okay, so how about then we have like a bush just there and then a bush number two just there and then a medium plant and a medium plant and then in the middle, we can have another medium plant. There we go. And they can sort of walk along and wait here and look at the lovely plants which is all very nice indeed. And then inside, hang on, what's that? Lights. Do we need to add extra lighting? Um, how about some round... Yeah, how about some round lights? So if we have one there and one there and then kind of one there 
and one there. That will do for lights. And then in here, in the kitchen, we don't necessarily need fancy kind of lights. We'll have a fluorescent strip and a fluorescent strip. There you go, everybody. The workers get you know the basic stuff. The paying customers get their fancy kind of round light thingamabobs. Okay. Oh, there are chandeliers. Oh, there's fancy wall lights. Oh. Okay, I think we're okay for lighting right now. We'll come back to it if we have to. Um, okay, so decoratives. Here we go. What can we have? A wall shelf. Yes. There we go. We'll put a wall shelf there and a wall kind of vase, vase, whatever you want to call it, just there, which looks nice. And then in the corner here, we will have some lovely plants. So a plant there and a plant there as you come in. So it looks nice. Um, and then can we have things on the table? Yes. Table vases. Right. Every table gets a table vase because why wouldn't you do that? So there we go. And there and there. Um, and then flower boxes. Do you want to put a couple of those dotted around? Are they going on the wall? Oh, that's nice. And we'll put one there and we'll put one there. Kind of blocked out by that plant, but never mind. Uh, let's have flower box too. We'll put one there and one there. As you come around the corner, it still looks very pretty. Okay. And then have we not got paintings or anything? Uh, painting variant one. Okay. We'll put a couple of paintings there. They're not very exciting. And we'll put one there and one there. And then let's get some wooden mirrors and we'll put one wooden mirror. Uh, and we do actually have this wall as well. We can't see it, but there is a big blank wall here. And we'll have, I don't know, how about we have ourselves a painting. Oh, hang on, it changed. Oh, when I clicked on it, it changed. Oh, botherations. Okay, that's somewhat unfortunate, isn't it? We'll have a couple of paintings and then we'll have a nice big wooden sort of framed mirror in the middle. Of two of them. There you go. Nice. So hopefully, now that, if I remember rightly, that's the tutorial button that said it was, yeah, the ambience kind of overlay. That looks very good. It's nice and green, which is very nice indeed. People are going to be very, very impressed. Okay, right. So we've got it looking nice. We have some staff. We now need some appliances to do the cooking. So here we go. Let's get these set up. So uh, we'll have ourselves um, a fryer just there. And then we'll have, well, we could have bought a deluxe fryer. We could have bought one of those. Um, do you know what? We've got a bit of money. Maybe we should treat ourselves to some deluxe things. Why not? If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. So a deluxe grill. A deluxe oven. Very nice. A deluxe stove. Okay, we'll just sort of tuck all these things together. A deluxe countertop. Seems very excessive to me, but okay, we'll buy, I don't know, three of those. Um, a double door fridge. Okay, that is probably a very good idea. If I put it facing the right way, that might help quite a bit. Um, right, fire extinguishers. We probably need quite a few of these. We'll pop a fire extinguisher there and one... Hang on, can we swivel that round? Does that fit there? Okay, yeah, it's sort of floating because we can't see that wall. We'll put one there and then can we have one... Can we have one over here somewhere? Just in case, just in case something explodes over here. Maybe we just tuck them into the corners or something. Uh, yeah, we'll have one in that corner and one over in that corner. Because, you know, safety first and everything. A rat trap. Okay, I kind of feel like we need to put a rat trap outside as well. There we go. Um, and then, yeah, storage shelves. I think we're going to need a few of these, I imagine. So if we put one just there for now, and then, I mean, can we put it in the way? Can we block the windows? Um... No, we can't. Oh, that's unfortunate, isn't it? I thought we could put one just... I know, is that because that's the serving windows in the way? I don't know. Okay, right. Not quite sure. We've only got one storage shelf right now. We might need to rejig the kitchen a bit to get some more storage in. But okay, that's that sorted. Yeah, now restrooms. Hang on, I noticed there is a restroom thing here. So uh, we've got stall doors. So they just... Right, so we need to make a little stall out of, out of the sort of uh, wall building stuff. Oh yeah, I've kind of forgotten to put a door into the toilets over here. Um, hang on a second, hang on. Move the fire extinguisher. <laughs> Reposition that just uh, that corner. There we go. Right. And then we need a door over here. And then I think, I mean, are we just going to have, we can have one little room. So like a main area with a sink in. So we can have a couple of sinks like that. And then we can have just four different kind of stalls. 
I think that should be okay. Here we go. Right, is this going to go horribly wrong? It's probably going to go horribly wrong. Right, let's build ourselves a wall like that, which now does have the blue on it on the outside. Okay, I'm very confused. Okay, we should have done that first then. That's the message I'm getting from that. So let's do that. Bring that in like that. We might not want the window just there. <laughs> let's move that window. Away with you, window. Um, Okay, right. It's it's all fine. Do you know what? That window, we'll just we'll just sell the window. Away with you. Right. So that's fine. And then door no, not door wise, wall wise. Build a wall going like that. And then I mean do we just have hang on. So toilet two. Yes, yeah, so we want these. So a toilet. So then can we put a wall next to that toilet? Can we actually draw the wall on? So if we go, okay, there is a wall there, and then get a stall door and put it there. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. You don't need a lot of room. And then outside here, we can have the sink. Yeah, okay, that seems fine. Right, so we'll go ahead with that, I think. So build wall and build wall and build wall. Okay, right, and then we need a toilet and a toilet and a toilet and a toilet and some doors, door, 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 door. And then um, sink one or sink two. Sink two looks quite nice. Let's have... Uh, oh, hang on. Floaty sink number two. Pop that in there, pop that in there. Three of those. Okay, now we just need a door. So hang on a second. Get a door. And we don't want a glass door. Hang on. Can we have a door that's not see-through? Can we have a door that's not see-through? Um, I don't know if there are those things. Hang on a second. Is there a door that's not see-through? Ah, yeah. Right there. Solid door number one. That will do. We'll put that right in the corner. And there we go. We now have some restrooms as well. So we've got a place for people to sit and eat their lovely food, a place for you know, the lovely food to actually be prepared, and some lovely, lovely places to go over here when you need to, you know, answer a call of nature. They do look a bit... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Paint wall. I know I know this is a game about, you know, running a restaurant and making money, but I've got to set it up properly. Um, Hang on a second, hang on. We'll put that... I mean, I kind of think they should be a different colour. Also, we need the floor in there. Hang on, paint the floor. Um, Let's make it like that oh, hang on hang on hang on can we make each of those can we make each of those a slightly different color can we tilt the angle yes we can okay hang on a minute hang on we can have different floors in here uh, we'll have that one like that and that one like that oh this is very exciting and that one can be that color and then uh that can be that kind of wood color and that one can be that color there we go. I like that. That looks nice. And then yeah then we've got the sort of regular sort of sink floor area over there. Very good. Is there a bin? Is there like a trash sort of, you know, waste paper bin or something? No, there is not. Okay, never mind, never mind. Right, and then, yeah, the walls. The walls. I don't think the walls need to be like that in there. How about we have them a sort of a more, yeah, like a bathroomy subway tile? <laughs> I don't want to look a subway. Um, oh, hang on a second. There's all sorts of floral wallpaper. Oh, hang on a second. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hang on. Bring that round like that. Where did where did you go, floral wallpaper? Come back to us. Um, hang on a second. Uh, Alt-click is paint the room. Yes. It's floral and it's blue. Okay, and then in these, can we make them floral and yellow? <laughs> yes. Yes, we can. Tis glorious. The only thing I don't know how to do is, yeah, the outside. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That was the outside. Ah, hang on a second. That's going to make the outside floral. I mean, I'm half tempted to make it. <laughs> floral and yellow on the outside um okay, what if we did hang on can we see what that looks like no we can't see any of that it might look terrible it might look brilliant i do not know um let's go for what was that one that's flower jungle wallpaper but on the outside and yellow yes okay i think it's looking very good so i think i think are we ready to open do we have a menu no we don't okay so we have got we can add meat and fish let's add the basics in so meat and fish. So add that to the menu. And mom's love will add that in. Sweet home, yes. Twisted sister. What is that? Right, okay. So what have we just added? So meat and fish is pork loin with pineapple and orange. Kind of feel like we're lying to people with that one there. There is no fish involved. Oh, no, hang on. There is fish. We have to scroll down. Okay. Uh, sea bass, clams, butter. There's various cheeses and lemon. That sounds quite nice. Um, Mom's love is pork belly, garlic, tomato, spaghetti. Um, okay. Is that just like a sort of a, a spaghetti bolognese type thing? Uh, sweet home. Yes, what's that? Chicken stock? 
chicken breast, eggplant, beans. Okay, that's like a sort of a chickeny kind of thing. And Twisted Sister is fish and lobster and squid and garlic. Wow, that's just like a fish kind of platter thing. Okay, so we'll start with those. We'll make some of our own up in a moment. But yeah, let's just get these in. So here we go. Now we need to go and actually order in food because we have nothing in right now. So I think keep a minimum in of, I don't know, do you want to do 10 of each thing? So just say, just do 10 of each. Is there a way we can do that where we can click control or something for 10? Is that for 10? No. Okay, that's unfortunate. We have to click this each individual time. Um, yeah, okay. Well, let's just click all these up to 10. So they're going to keep at least 10 of these things in stock at any one point. Because we might, if we're very busy, sort of work our way through all this kind of stuff. So, oh my goodness, we're right. Hang on a minute. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's keep making sure that we've got 10 of all these things in stock. Oh no, apparently you can hold left shift and do it. Look, there you go. That's much easier. Left shift, click, 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 click. Okay, right. The only thing is we haven't got enough in terms of storage or enough in terms of fridge space. Okay, right. I see this being a bit of a problem. We might need to expand the, um, the kitchen down to here a little bit we might need to actually get this sort of moved down here slightly the only thing is i don't quite know how we do that because how can we take out those individual wall sections um oh we can do that now can we so we can take out that bit of wall and that oh, that's the fridge hang on can we just do that Are we allowed to, oh I just took out i just took out the window maybe that's what it was saying that i could do um yeah i want to make this bigger how do we make the kitchen bigger unless we now just have a door and then just have a kind of storeroom over here. Let's do that. Let's do that. Hang on a minute. We're going to build some more stuff, everybody. And there we go. Very nice indeed. I know it's not accessible. Calm down. Right. Um, kitchen door. Let's have a, do a door frame, actually. It's fine. We'll put that there. And then we need floor. Of course we do. <laughs> At some point, we'll actually open up and let some people in. I promise. Um, we'll have that as, I don't know, yellow. Because, hang on, what is it? Paint connected. Alt click. Yeah, there we go. So we've kind of got blue and yellow geek cupboard flooring going on. Um, and then, yeah, what we'll do is we'll move all of this stuff. So move that into uh, into there. So that can be a storage thing. And then we can have another big fridge opposite that. And then we can get some more storage things in as well. Because I don't think we're going to quite have enough. So uh, where is it? Appliances, double door fridge. Pop that in there. And then storage shelves, many of these, please. So one there, one there. And then can we have another one kind of backing onto there? Is that enough? Um, build more dry storage. Order 150. Capacity 150. Okay. <laughs> That's all we've got. That's all we've got. Okay. Right. We might need to build a slightly bigger area over here for some more storage. Where can we put all the things? Let's get rid of that window. I think that window needs to go. We need to get rid of this window. Sorry, window. I do apologise. I'm sure you're brilliant. Um, okay, and then another shelf kind of over there and another one there. Okay, now we have loads and loads of storage, loads of fridge space. There we go. Things are looking a bit better. Um, okay, I think we're ready to go. Seasonal objects. Hang on a second. What do you mean seasonal objects? Um... Chinese sort of, uh, what's that? Two-way doors, windows, wreaths, Christmas lights. Oh, this is all very exciting. Oh, okay, right. Hang on, hang on. Do we want any of these? Chinese table. We've already got our tables all in. That's all a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Um, okay, no, come out of that. Come out of that, please. Let's open up. I think right now we can open up and then we'll make our own sort of menu, sort of our own recipes at some point. But let's just get the basics in. So there we go. We are now open, and I can confirm that spacebar is paused, which is wonderful. Well done, game. Okay, now we do have a lot of these kind of red flashy things going on, and that's because we've not assigned people to actually go and work at these tables or at these sort of cooking stations. So we need to make sure that, yeah, people are actually set to work at these. Now, who is good at this? Because we can just look at who likes this kind of stuff. I mean, people are off map. What does that mean exactly? Hang on. Oh, we've got people arriving to work. Hey, Joshua, Nathan, Jacob, Amber. Where's Betty? Betty, come along. <laughs> there we go. Betty. Is that Betty? No, where is Betty? We should be able to spot her because she's wearing an amazing hat. There we go. Right, so is that what we've got? We've got five people. Okay. So now, who is going to be good at doing the serving? Um, so serving skill. So Betty 
does love a bit of this. So here we go. We've got a lot of people who are good at serving. Hopefully they're really good at food as well. So Betty can do that half. And then we'll have, I mean, Jacob and Amber do love this. So let's let Amber do that there. So this is sort of us setting priorities of who's going to serve these tables. So, okay. And then second place over here, we'll do Jacob. Jacob can be second on those ones. And then we'll have Amber as... Although that guy there, Nathan's really good at serving. We've not got him serving at all. <laughs> um, hang on. Is Nathan good at cooking anything? Um, he's okay. He, he does love working the oven. He does love an oven. Um, okay. Okay, right. This is fun. What we'll do is... So we'll have you and you. And then maybe... Yeah, Amber can be third on these. So Amber can be third. Amber can be third. And then over here, we've got Amber... Then we'll have Jacob and then Betty. Okay, so then Jacob, then Betty, then over here, Jacob, and then Betty. Okay, right, so the tables are now all set. Now we just need to actually figure out who's going to do the cooking. So who is going to do this? So, right, Nathan does love working at the oven, and then Joshua is okay. So you can go and do that. Right, now over here at the fryer... Oh, three people hate the fryer. Betty, Amber, and Jacob are like, nope, I'm not going near the fryer. Um, okay, Joshua loves that kind of stuff. And then we'll have Nathan. Okay, I think we can see our sort of kitchen crew and our serving crew. Um, oh, okay, but the deluxe grill is Amber. Amber does not mind doing that. So Joshua can be first. I think we get another person in. Can we get ourselves a decent chef? Is there a chef that we can have? Um, you love serving, you love cleaning. However, Stuart Graham, <laughs> with your shorts and your bow tie on, uh, you're very good at using the fryer. You hate the oven, but you're very good at the stove as well. Do you know what? You're pretty good. Stuart Graham is very good. Ooh, Hayden Stevens is also very good. He's very good at kitchen stuff. And Tracy is just a pretty good all-rounder. Um, okay, okay, maybe, maybe we go for you, Hayden. You don't like working with an oven and you have no skill on it. And that's absolutely fine. Do you know what? We'll hire you. Welcome, Hayden. I realise we've gone through half of our money just about now. Um, okay, so we need to get Hayden in now. So if Hayden could actually turn up for work. There we go, there we go. Right, he's sort of on the map there. So this is all fine. So um, yeah, if we go to the... Hang on, what was he good at? What were you good at? The fryer. Okay, so I think let's replace you with Hayden. Because Hayden loves a bit of that. And then Joshua. And then Nathan. Okay. And then over here, shall we put... Uh, no, Hayden doesn't want to use the oven. He hates the oven. Of course he does. Right, what about over here? So Hayden. Yeah, Hayden's going to be our main chef, I think. Nathan. Uh, and then swivel it round to the countertops. Okay, so Joshua. Okay. Okay. Um, now I'm a bit confused because doesn't he do a lot of the serving? Isn't, oh, that's Jacob. Ah, no, okay, this is all fine. So, um, yeah, you can be the first on all of those. And then we'll have Hayden. And then we can have Joshua and then Hayden. And then, do you know what, everybody? We'll have Joshua. And then we'll have Hayden, if you can believe that. And there we go. Right, so I think if we move time on now, people are going to be sort of standing around for now because there's nothing much for them to do. There are no orders. So people are just patiently waiting. Um, yeah, they've all got stamina and all that kind of stuff. So let's go and have a look then. So what are they, um, what are they like? So yeah, you're, you love frying and you're very good at countertop stuff. Um, okay. And your thoughts full of energy. The place is squeaky clean. We love working her, uh, here. Nathan Patterson is so inspiring. Oh, oh, that's good. He's, he's inspired by Nathan. Running low on garlic. Can only prepare three more mums love. Ordered it. Ah, there we go. Ordered, delivered. Uh, ordered ingredients delivered. Sorry. Right. Okay. We actually have some stock. Hooray. <laughs> that is very good. Right. There are people over here who I think have placed their order. I think their order's gone in. And here we go. Look, there's somebody over here. Hello. Would anybody like to go and serve this person? Yes. Here we go. This is very good. And I think they had a little icon above their head, which I think meant they were inspired by Betty. And who would not be? <laughs> who wouldn't be inspired by Betty? Because just look at her. Even just her standing there, she looks so absolutely inspirational. Okay, here we go. So we've got a few people in, not loads, but there we go. The queue is... They have to walk around the edge of the thing, which is a bit unfortunate. But look, loads of people are coming in. 
here's some more people. Hello, please get seated over here. And I think, are you being, are you being inspired? Yeah, there you go. Betty Cupboard is so inspiring. Uh, Shannon Stone is getting on my nerves. Who is Shannon Stone? Is she one of the, um, is she a customer? Uh, Jeffrey Rubens. Is Shannon Stone a customer? There, yeah, okay. Shannon Stone is over there and they're annoying. They're annoying Amber. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Oh, hang on a minute. What are, why are you waving? What? Uh, okay. Do we click that? Select an employee charisma skill. It's Betty. Betty, you go over and sort this out. Okay, this person needs sort of attention or something. Um, in plea for hire, Philip Woods. If I'm being totally honest, I suck at cooking, but it's my dream to become a chef. Okay. <laughs> what are your stats, Philip? Um, you are hired, negotiate salary, charisma, or not interested. Well, I need to know what you're like. I need to know whether you're good or bad at things. Um, okay, okay. Charisma. Let's try and negotiate your offer. Um, uh, no, I think we're okay right now. Not interested right now. I do apologise, but we're okay right now. Look, we've got you know various bits and bobs going on over in the kitchen. Got twelve thousand three hundred fifty-nine pounds and forty-six pence, which is very nice. Okay, right. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. What do we have up here? The order queue. Okay, so we can see what's going on up here. Ah, one thing I haven't done. I haven't set up cleaning areas. Now this is a new thing. We didn't have this last time. But yeah, there are certain areas where we set up that they need to be cleaned. So I think if we set the bathroom up as one big cleaning area, and who would like to do that? Oh, nobody is a big fan of doing the cleaning. Um, Betty, you can clean the loos. I'm very sorry it's not very glamorous, but you can go and do that, please, because it's very important. And then I kind of feel like kind of around this area here needs a cleaning area. That can be somebody else. That can be, I don't know, Amber. They've all got a skill of two in it and nobody hates it. So Amber can do that. And then I think we have another cleaning area over there in front of the kind of chopping board things. And maybe Jacob could do that. There we go. And I don't know what we do about the main room in here. Do we hire somebody who really, really likes cleaning? Is there somebody who loves cleaning and who's very good at it? Um, all three of these people do love cleaning. But they're not, they're not very good at it. But they will level up a bit quicker. Um, okay, how about, how about we get in Tracy Marotta. She's very, very average at everything. She hates the fryer, but she does love doing a spot of cleaning. How about we hire her to do all the cleaning? Do you know what? You're hired. In you come. Another person wandering in. Right, so we need to wait for her to appear on the thing. There we go. Right, so then, yeah, I think... Rather than having Betty, we get her to do it. So Tracy can go and do the cleaning. So there we go. So Tracy can do that. And we'll put her in second, maybe. And then Tracy can do that cleaning. And then, I don't know, that chappy can be in second. Um, we'll put that chappy over there in second. Yeah, Betty, I don't think Betty should do the cleaning, thinking about it. It's it's not really her thing. She's the front of house. She's the face of the restaurant. She can't be seen nipping into the loo to give him a quick scrub. So yeah, there you go, Tracy. And... Um, I know Amber can do that if you're not around. Okay. Right, so the priorities have been set for all of the cooking things, all of the tables, and all of the cleaning. So I think we're okay for now. now let's have a look. Somebody's going to the loo. We have a low average star rating. Your average star rating is dropping quite low. You may want to open the review panel to see what your customers are complaining about. Okay. So, um... Nothing I loved was on the menu. Twisted Sister was tasty. Twisted Sister had an average price. So Jeffrey gave us four stars out of five. Thank you, Jeffrey. That was very generous. Scott Wallace gave us three. Meat and Fish was disgusting. Mum's Love was disgusting. <laughs> Mum's Love had an average price. And he gave us three stars for having two disgusting dishes. Uh, uh, Rochelle Gibson, Sweet Home was delicious. Sweet Home had an average price. Jacob Gibson was rude. Okay. Right, Jacob, do we need to have a word? And that's four stars. Um, and then, yeah, Karen said, I hate everything on the menu. And Julie says, I hate everything on the menu. Okay, <laughs> that's not my problem. There's a sign outside. There's a sign right there that possibly tells you some of the stuff that's on the menu. In fact, our menu is quite small. So I imagine it probably tells you everything that's on the menu. But there we go. There we go. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. That's yours. That's your problem there, whatever your name was. Karen and Julie. But okay. Right, we're creeping back up, actually. 
creeping back up. And we've got some ingredients in again, which is very good. Ah, and I think I saw Tracy sweeping up there, which is very good. Um, okay, everyone looking very busy. Hey, look at that. How many tables have we got? Three tables. Soon to be four. Oh, hang on. Loads of people coming in. Hello, everybody. Hang on a minute. We need people to go and do various rest things. How can we tell what their stamina is? Stamina 31. Uh, oh, the bar behind them kind of fills up. Okay, Hayden, you go and have a rest. Let's send you out to sit in the kind of resting area or, I don't know, stand in front of the bench. It's a perfectly good bench there. Just seat yourself upon it, my goodness. Okay, so Hayden is pending a rest. Where are you, Hayden? Whereabouts are you? What are your thoughts? The break area is ugly. Okay, right. That's not very good. Whoa, that's a huge pile of money coming in. Thank you. Um, yeah, okay, this area is yeah it's a little bit rubbish isn't it hang on hang on we've got we've got 12 grand we've got 12.2 grand can we make that look a bit nicer so you don't get grumpy when you go outside um landscaping here we go um how about some lovely oh, we could put a tree how about we put a couple of trees out the back so a tree and a tree we rotate it round it's like a different position tree uh, they're 90 pounds each, these trees. Okay, they're relatively expensive trees. So if we do that, has that affected it? Um, possibly not so much. Um, and then, if we just put down some plants in between those. So a plant and a plant and a plant. Has that affected that? A little bit, I think. Not loads, but a bit. Um, okay, and then what if we put down some lovely shrubbery stuff to go around there and then a plant grouping there and a different plant grouping there is, is that nice now okay i don't think it's as terrible as it was but this area here is still a bit grim um okay i don't really know what else we can do can we put can we put those things outside uh yes we can we can put a nice plant in a pot outside um okay uh, is there anything else we'd like to put outside? Maybe that by the door at the back. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully they're not going to think this area is too utterly horrendous anymore. I mean, it's still not brilliant, but it's, you know, it's better than it was. Uh, yeah, okay, come out of that. Let's get time moving on again. Do we need anybody, anybody to go and have a rest? Nathan, I think, might be the lowest in terms of stamina right now, but he's still on 81%. So I think he's okay. I kind of feel like we have an awful lot of staff and um and not that many customers we need to get our sort of our popularity up a little bit five average customers per hour yeah that that's not enough is it we need way more people but betty is doing something very important good job betty uh, i don't know what you're doing you're standing there just being inspiring just by your very presence betty you're making people come into this place uh, yeah okay right let's move time on nice and quick Let's get things moving on. What time is it? Four o'clock. I don't know what time we close. Restaurant opening time till seven o'clock. Um, oh, no. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> okay, hang on. The menu lacks dishes that I like. The place is clean. The place looks amazing. Activate disaster clogged toilet. Okay. <laughs> right. We have a slight toilet issue. And some people down here said some stuff, which I might have needed to click on or possibly not. I don't know. Oh, hang on. Yeah, so you've got a recipe. Okay, that's interesting. So what can we do with that? Uh, basic recipe fried chicken when created, suggest enhancing it for greater value. Ah, okay, right. So we've just created a recipe from this person's recommendation. Okay. Right, okay, that's interesting. There was something else that popped up. Um, okay, how do we deal with the clogged toilet? How do we how do we fix this? How do we sort out a clogged toilet? I'm I'm unaware of how this should work. Unless our cleaning person goes to fix it? Is that you? Is Jacob now going to go and... <laughs> I'm sorry, Jacob. I'm very sorry. Oh, and look at that. Tracy's all over it. Tracy's all over there. She's doing the cleaning. She's keeping it very nice. Trophy food profits up to one. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Trophies were a thing in here. Um, Something popped up down there. I didn't see what it was. Okay, hang on. Back out of that then. Okay, yeah. He's unclogging the loo for which it's not brilliant, but do you know what? It's very important. There we go. And now he's going to give this a bit of a clean as well. That's very good. That's very diligent of you all. There we go. Look, we're absolutely on this. We had a problem in the bathroom, an alleged disaster, and we've just gone and sorted it all out really quickly, which is very good. Right, Jacob, go and have a rest. Ah, somebody has left 
I had to wait so long for my food that I just left. <laughs> okay, that's not good. That's not good. Given that we have got quite a lot of people in the kitchen, I do wonder exactly what has happened there. Um, what's that telling us? Um, that needs cleaning? That needs cleaning, does it? Oh yeah, it does it actually hang on a minute? That does look a bit grim. Hang on, we need to clean the storage shelves. Is is that oh no, everything gets grubby. Oh hang on a second, hang on, right, hang on. Cleaning area. Get rid of that one, get rid of that one. We need two cleaning areas. One for the kitchen, which can be uh, yep, that can be Tracy's job. And then we can have I don't know, Amber doing that there and sort of the backup. And then over in here, we can have Tracy doing the cleaning again, and then that can be Jacob. There we go. Right. Splendid. So now you should be able to clean the fridge because the fridge looks a little bit terrible and the ingredient shells look awful. There you go. You just spray the vegetables <laughs> with your cleaning fluid spray. There we go. Right. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know we had to clean the shelves and everything. I thought it was generally just the floors, but no, that makes perfect sense. Okay. Right, here we go. I hate everything on the menu. Brilliant. <laughs> I'm glad it's going so well. Right, many orders being delivered. Um, oh dear. Jacob had a furious face above his head. Oh no, he's okay now. He's okay. We just made another £21.75p, which is very good. £9.64. Cash flow difference since the last hour. 8 37 We're actually making some money. We're making some money. This is very good. Rainy weather. Okay, yeah, that's sort of to be expected. Um, do we need to, like, mow the lawn or anything? Do we need to mow the lawn? It looks a little bit like we need somebody to go and cut the grass. Because it does look a little bit kind of long and unruly. But, okay, this is fine. So we're okay in terms of money, I think. Oh, hang on a minute, people. Hayden is... What's Hayden doing? Thoughts. You seem to be okay. You're flashing on and off in red, Hayden. But your things were okay. The break area is ugly. I'm trying my best. Um, is that you there? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, you're not impressed with the break area. I mean, I, I do apologise. I do apologise. We're trying our best. I put some trees out there. I don't know what else we can really do. Um, okay, this is fine. We haven't really got many customers in. So let's move time on nice and quick. This place looks amazing. Finally, Maria Olsen. Thank you so much for actually you know, saying what everyone else was thinking but nobody had actually decided to you know, state officially. That is very good. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. There's a person over here. Betty. Betty, get over here and have a chat. My cat is really sick. Any chance you could give me 200 monies to help with the vet bills? Um, yes, because that's what we do here. Of course, I love animals. Here you go. I wish your cat a speedy recovery, says Betty Cupboard. Okay, now what does that do? Avoiding catastrophe. Restaurant balance change. Amber Graham is now thinking things will get better. Um, oh, was that? Was that? Oh, that was Amber. That was Amber. Oh, right. I thought it was a random customer. No, it's one of our staff. Oh, okay, that's fine. Yeah, Amber, you're you're more than welcome. Yes, we're going to look after our staff here. That's what we do. I'm a little bit concerned about these people over here because they've been waiting an awfully long time for their food, and that is indeed ticking down. I don't know what we're doing over there. Yeah, they've gone. They've left. What did they order? Uh, I mean, can we see what they ordered? No, unfortunately not. I don't know what they ordered. Um, oh, was it the fried chicken wings? I didn't know it was on the menu. I didn't know it was on the menu. Yeah, we've got none of the chicken in. So we can't actually make that. They must have ordered that and our people have gone, I don't know how to make that. I don't know how to make that. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, never mind. Never mind. We can sort that out. We can, we can work on that possibly. Um, but there we go. Right, so I think that should be the end of the day. Because it says there we're supposed to close at 7 o'clock and it's currently 10 o'clock. Sorry, everybody. A little bit of overtime for you. Um, but yeah, okay, so they're all going to go over here. I imagine that's the kind of departure point, is it? They all vanish into non-existence. Okay, bye-bye. See you later, Betty. See you later. And then we're going to get a summary. Okay, so how are we looking? The place looks amazing. 34. Very good. The place is clean. 25. Um, okay, so that's good. Sweet Home had an average price. That's not a bad thing. Uh, it's clean. Sweet Home was tasty. Yeah, we've got a lack of dishes. A certain lack of dishes. And then other people had to wait. I think that was the chicken stuff. Um, I hate everything in the menu. <laughs> oh dear. Betty Cupboard could be a bit faster, but that's okay. Don't you criticise Betty. Um, okay, okay, right. So mostly it's okay. Um, yeah, seven of those negative reviews, I think, 
were to do with the chicken that I put onto the actual menu and then didn't order any sort of ingredients for, which was brilliant. Okay, finances. Um, we spent 13,600. Okay, so income. This is, this is a bit of a kind of a false reading, isn't it, really? Because we obviously built everything. We built the restaurant from nothingness into what it is now. So we obviously spent quite a lot of money to get it up and running. We did spend quite a lot of money on supplies. Uh, and in please, 1,156 per day. Crikeys. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, and then we get a breakdown of what they all did. So Joshua did mostly cooking and he was tired quite a bit. Nathan did cooking. Jacob did lots of cleaning. Well done. Amber did lots of cleaning. Again, it's very important, very important to have a lovely, clean restaurant. Lots of serving going on. Um, Hayden did cooking. Uh, Tracy did cleaning. And Betty did serving. Good job, Betty. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned about Jacob and Amber only spending 10% of their time and 18% of their time um, doing serving. I thought they were supposed to be doing a bit more than that. And Sweet Home made a bit, and Me and Fish made a bit, Twist Assistant not so good, and Mum's Love, nobody really liked that much at all. Okay, so day two, I think maybe, hang on, let's go to the, um, um, why can't we go to the cleaning thing? Why are we in the build, I don't want to be in the build mode. Can I come out of build mode? I don't know what to do. Well, I must look in build mode all of a sudden game. And then we have to open up for the day. Okay, no, that's fine. Right, so open up for the day. Right, and then go down to our cleaning areas. Why don't we just leave uh, Tracy, was it, to do the cleaning of these places on her own? Because I don't think she has any other jobs. So I think, yeah, we take you out. How do we remove you? Like that. Okay, so we sort of right click. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So get rid of you from there and there. You can go and clean that. Oh, no, but you don't. She's That's her only job. She is the cleaner. She keeps the place looking absolutely fantastic for everybody. So, um, yeah. Okay, there we go. So that should mean that we have more people available to do some serving, which is kind of, you know, an important thing. Um, okay, right. Well, let's get time moving on. Let's see how we can, uh, how we can get on today. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. What we're going to do is fry chicken wings. Let's just change this up a little bit, shall we? So, um, on, get rid of the review panel thing. How do we... Uh, okay, so fried chicken wing. So all we do is deep fry the chicken wing. Okay, so can we put something with it? Can we make it a little bit interesting? How about some smoked paprika? Yeah, let's put that in. There we go. And we'll call it um, um, smoky. Smoky fried chicken wing. So you deep fry that with the paprika and then you plate it up. And you can change the appearance of things. I think, yeah, they're chicken wings. Yeah, there we go. Okay, save that. And then let's go down to here. And we're going to need to order in chicken wings and smoked paprika because that's what we need. <laughs> okay, wonderful. So 53 minutes, those things are going to come in. Right, splendid. So if we just then get to the end of today and see how we do in terms of money, we'll get a proper read today on whether we're making a profit or whether this place is just, you know, bleeding money away in a terrible, terrible way. I mean, we could do with more people coming in. We've only got, what, 19% popularity. So let's move time on nice and quick. Let's see how we do. Nobody's come through the door just yet. This is a sad state of affairs. Nobody wants to come to Cupboard Comforts. We've got lovely food. We've opened up. Somebody come in and buy a burger or something or whatever we've got. Hey, it's a person. Hello, person. How are you? Um, Reagan Snyder. So Regan, Reagan, possibly Snyder. Um, hates fried food, hates carrots. What have they ordered? Um, I don't know if we can find out what they've ordered, but whatever. There we go. Some more people are in as well. This is very good. Hello there. Some ingredients have been delivered. That's very nice. More people coming in. Three people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you all? Please sit down. I mean, can we? Can we get drinks onto the menu? Is that a thing we can do? Recipe editor. Um, hang on. Dairy. Can we just like have... Because there is a, a little picture of a milkshake. Can we make like a milkshake? I don't suppose we can have tea. I don't suppose we could put tea onto the menu. That would be amazing if we could. Sauces and... Misk. Can we have... Tea must be in here. Come on. Please tell me there's tea. No, there's no tea. Boo, game. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I thought maybe we could make a cup of tea. I think for now, let's just stick with what we've got. Ah, the health inspector is here. I think the health inspector is going to be very, very impressed because our place is really very clean indeed. There they are. 
doing health inspecting, I suppose. Looking at stuff. Oh, what? Clog toilets in a restaurant, zero, zero, zero. We got find a grand? Have we got... <laughs> When did the clogged toilet just... It literally happened as the health inspector was here. Well, of course it would. Popularity minus 10%. Oh my goodness me. That must have just happened. <laughs> the odds of that are tiny. The odds of that happening must have been very, very small indeed. That is really unfortunate. Our place is normally really lovely and clean. That's a bit harsh. You go, right, we're in a clogged toilet. No, that's it. The place is a complete, absolute health nightmare. It's a bit... What? We tried. We're cleaning it up now. Look, come back now, health inspector. 7% popularity. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll work that back up. That'll increase. That will increase at some point. Um, I couldn't use the toilet. There are many of the toilets. Look at that. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, it's gone up. It's come back down. I hate everything on the menu. I was thrown out, says Joshua Gordon. Why were you thrown out? Hang on, isn't that Joshua Gordon? That's Joshua Gaza. Um, the place is clean. It looks amazing. Mark Bell. Mark Bell, we like you, Mark. You can come back. Um, Yuki McDonald, no, you're not welcome back. You hate everything. Away with you. But yeah, this place looks amazing. I completely agree. Okay, yeah. The money isn't looking good, is it? I think we... Oh, hang on. The health inspector is here again. Right, okay, nobody block the toilet now, please. Is he going to go and inspect every single toilet? And yeah, nobody block the loo. He's looking in here. There's a few footprints in here. Hopefully that's going to be okay. It's not too bad. Can we... Where's our cleaning person? Tracy is busy probably cleaning something else. Oh, there you go. She's cleaning the units and stuff. Okay. Level up. Grill skill of Joshua has increased. Ah. Okay, that's good. I need the health inspector to give us a lovely a lovely pass on this one, please. That would be amazing. The restaurant is so clean that people could eat on the floor if they wanted to. I kind of feel like that would be weird, but okay. It will take a while before I come back, and I'll write a positive article about this place on the Town Hall website. Keep it up. Absolutely, health inspector person. I absolutely will. 10 out of 10. There you go, you see. Were you a little bit harsh the first time? by criticising us and making us you know, look really bad because we had one block toilet, which we cleaned up really quickly. Um, okay, popularity goes up by 10%. Does it? Um, I don't know. Does he have to go and write that article? It's creeping up. It's back on 18%. Okay, right. It's okay. Well, hang on a minute. Do we need to press that button? Um, ooh, there's skills. There's level ups for people. Oh, this is very exciting. I didn't this was a thing. Joshua Garza has become more experienced in grill and can level up. Choose one option from the list below. Okay, so fireproofed, international chef, or second wind. Okay. Oh, this is very good. Um, how about, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? What's your main role? Um, you do cooking and serving and cleaning in kind of that order, do you? Hang on, where are you? Yeah, you're very good at doing the whole sort of cooking side of things. How about fireproofed? Reduces the chance of appliances catching fire when cooking. Or do we go for an international chef? Customers will be willing to pay more. Because Joshua is an internationally uh, renowned chef. Which do we go for? Easy money or uh, health and safety? We'll go for some money, please. There we go. Hooray. And then Nathan also has leveled up. He's become more experienced in using the stove. So now we can choose from these. So Nathan, hang on. Where are you? That's you. Okay, so you're very kitcheny as well. So calming presence will lower the stress of people in the room if someone is about to reach breaking point. Okay, so you can talk people down from having a bit of a, of a mood. International chef, we get more money. Popular kid increases the number of customers that will come to the restaurant. Yes, that one. We need more people coming in, please, because more people equals more money, which shall be marvellous indeed. Okay, coming up to the end of the day, I think. So I think these two people can leave and that person can go. And then that will be it. That will be it, I think. But here we go. Cleaning is happening. Uh, yeah, maybe we do need somebody else on the cleaning rotor because things are looking a little bit grimy. Hang on a second. Let's add some other people in. Yeah, Amber can help over there and over here um maybe betty could help with that area there she could clean that bit that's not so bad she's definitely not going to be seen cleaning the loos um jacob could do that and then in the main area over here how about um hang on how about jacob again yeah jacob can do that as well 
Okay, there we go. That's much, much better. Hopefully things will get nice and clean very soon. And I think that is it for the day. There we go. Everyone's going to go to the magic kind of crossing point where they just vanish into oblivion. Uh, okay, so it's looking pretty good. However, less negative reviews. That's very encouraging. Lots of positive reviews. Still have some people complaining about the menu, but we'll sort that out. Um, yeah, okay, happy with that. Now, finances. Yeah, we made 508 money in terms of in terms of our food. But yeah, we spent 996. So we are on a bit of a, um, a loss at the moment, which is not great. Um, staff, yeah, much is happening. Looks more or less the kind of same, really, in terms of what the staff got up to. So that's fine. And then food. Yeah, Sweet Home is certainly our most popular one. Okay, so with that done, and with day three of restauranting very much in front of us, I think we're going to finish things up for now. But we're going to come back to this. I feel like we have unfinished business with Recipe for Disaster, because I think we need to start doing our own kind of menu things. We need to make our own recipes, create our own wonderful, delicious dishes, where we can mix all sorts of random things and hope it's all very nice indeed. I think we need to do a bit of that. Because then if we do that, we expand our menu, which is obviously a bit of a complaint that people have right now, that the menu is a little bit small. And then maybe we can turn our fortunes around in terms of, you know, popularity and also money as well. It would be nice if we could start turning a proper profit and also become a little bit more popular. That would be very, very good indeed. Also, we could look at maybe completing some of these objectives as well. So I've not really looked at these very much either. But you know, I think we've done very well so far. I think we made the right choice in starting with 25 grand. I think it allowed us to, you know, have a bit of a play with what there was in the game and build something that's big. Otherwise, we would have started with something very, very small and we would have been waiting for absolutely ages to get stuff done. So I do think starting with the 25 grand has given us a very good, lovely kind of head start. And we've been able to create the wonderful, very, very nice cupboard comforts restaurant that you see before you. But yeah, we'll come back and we'll see how we get on next time. Make our own food and see what wonderful, delicious, not at all nightmarish concoctions we can come up with. But yeah, we should do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like that would be very very marvelous indeed and also if you're not already then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in recipe for disaster but for now thank you very much for joining me in the geek cupboard and i'll see you next time <laughs> these people are eating the tables they're just devouring the tables they're so hungry there's no atmosphere at all were you sat in the car park <laughs> are you sure you came to the right place mine Nien Stan in brand. <laughs> if you want to order meatballs made of snails, you need to be really certain about this.